Well, good evening. Pastor Bacchus here, Calvary Assembly of God. I'm still in celebration mode. I'm just rejoicing uh, for what God has been doing among us here. As you know, this month we continue to celebrate our 33rd anniversary as a ministry at Calvary Assembly of God. We just had a terrific service uh, celebration last Sunday. Uh, if you were here, if you had joined us online, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It was just splendid. And I'm thanking God for what He has done. I'm thanking God for His present, flowing, and current anointing on all of our lives, on the ministry. I'm thanking God for all the leaders and all the volunteers, all who put their hands to work and, and serve in some way. I'm just grateful for all of them. I know God will bless them in return for their services. Amen. But we give God high honor and praise and glory. Amen. So during this month, we will continue to feature our history of where we came from. And we will try to project, uh, with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, uh, plans for the future. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, which includes portions of last Sunday's celebration service. Be blessed. Every praise is to our God. He's the same today, and yesterday, and forevermore. 33 years. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing every praise one more time. Every praise is to our God. Every word of every word of worship we want our voice. Every praise is to our Let's take it up one. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing, God, my Savior. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my Savior. God, my Savior. God, you're my healer. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. God, my deliverer. Every praise. Yes, every praise. Sing every praise. And every praise is to our God. Every word of worship. Every word of worship. Every praise. Every praise. Is to our God every ways. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Oh, every praise is to our God, my God, my Savior. God, you're my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he Sing, is. God, my Savior. God, my Savior. God, you're my healer. God, my healer. Sing, God, you're my deliverer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, Just the voices. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Sing, God, my Savior. Lift your hands and tell him. God, my One more time, yes, just the voices. God, my Savior. God, you're my healer. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Everybody. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my Savior. God, my
Yes, he is. 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 Every praise. And every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Glory! Come on, give him glory in the house. He's worthy. You've kept us. Good morning. I'm Gabriella Singh, and I will do, be doing a spoken word. A wedding made in heaven. Preparing for the wedding made in heaven, the reunification of the masterpieces to the master who brings them peace, the preparation, time and effort, willingness and dedication, sewn into a wedding where the bride hopes to enter into the pearly gates and see her master's face, be encompassed by the presence of his perfect love that permanently changed her fate. All the tickets carefully distributed to the ones whose names are already written inside a place where smiles are as bright as can be souls are enriched joyfully a home made beautifully by the one whose son walked on water at the sea of galilee all for you and me a small glimpse into the future all determined by the present we live out now in our past so let's rewind and look at the stats. A 2020 study says that 8.3% of our world population identifies as a charismatic Christian. Please take the time to really listen. That's only 650 million out of almost 8 billion. The wedding that our father planned out long ago is missing people. Maybe they just didn't get the invitation to hear about God's word, or maybe we need to try a little harder to do God's work. The same study describes the growth in Christians as modest. So I'm gonna be very honest. The book we study in this church, the B-I-B-L-E says, God is not slow with keeping his promise. Soon it will be coming where the church is married to God forever, never having to leave his side. And that seems quite fine if we forget that there will be those who will be left behind. While we consume the holiness of God's embrace, filled with peace beyond our imagination, like the bride and groom's first kiss, no doubts of separation, Others will be consumed in the lake of fire mentioned in the book of Revelations. Those who heard the good news and heeded to it will be singing for joy, dancing like David, praising the one true Lord, the holiest reception thou eyes have ever seen. There will be others down below, begging just to be at the mezzanine, wishing they had lived their lives clean. It's depressing. It's imperative we come back to the present. The preparations for the weddings are still taking place, and there's still time to save souls before they have to pay the ultimate toll. In preparation for the wedding, we must hand out invitations. After all, everyone is included in God's promise. Our church wasn't founded by a doubting Thomas. Our church was founded on a vision to spread the gospel to the unbeliever, to be a source of encouragement to the griever, to foster believers who are overachievers. We sit here dressed in our Sunday's best, and it's clear it's time to make a decision, to spread the good news, support our pastors, and pray every single step of the way. Calvary members, it isn't finished. It started with four words, one vision, know Christ and make him known, God's great commission. In preparation for the wedding, we must make a difference in our homes, our church, and the world. Thank you. Yes, through, the, through this moment of bad things, as bad as they were, it's owing to his mercy they could have been worse. When, my, when we are afflicted by the rod of his, the enemy's wrath, 
It is because of the Lord's mercy we're not consumed. The church of God is like Moses' burning bush. It's a, yet not, it was burning, but yet not consumed. It was persecuted by men, but not forsaken by God. Day forth, though cast dung, it is not destroyed. Corrected, yet not consumed. Refined in the furnace of silver, but not consumed as dross. Yes, it is of the Lord's mercy. We are not consumed. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, or else we would have been consumed long ago. He has dealt with us according to his mercy. Mercy shows kindness that, that justice requires. When the Pharisees wanted to condemn a man, a condemn a person, oh, one time here was this Pharisee praying in a, a public on a man that is sinful that the Jews uh, uh, repudiate and would, uh, look down on them uh, because there were betrayals of their nation. Uh, this man, this Pharisee stood up and said, God, I thank you that I'm, I, I do, uh, I'm not an extortioner nor an adulterer. And uh, unlike this publican, uh, he called him. Uh, he said, I fast twice a week and I give of all my, that I, the tithes of all I possess. But then the Bible says the publican would not even lift up so much his eyes to heaven, but smote his breast saying, be merciful to me, a sinner. Jesus said, this man went down to his house justify rather than the other. Mercy showed kindness more than justice require. It is because it was his mercy that the ten lepers foresaw when they came to Jesus. They said, Lord, have mercy in us. And they were cleansed. It was mercy that blind Bartimaeus cried for. He said, Lord, have mercy. Yes, it is because of the Lord's mercy we're not consumed by this pandemic. It is because of mercy that show kindness more than justice require. Oh, yes, when that thief on the cross was dying in that moment, he said, Lord, remember me, and here is Jesus. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Mercy, my friends, when, when the prophet Jeremiah saw the destruction of the city, the sufferings of the people, he saw God was merciful. And he said it because of his mercy. We are not consumed. Yes, mercy saw come. Yes, mercy saw something in God even in the darkest hour. He, you know, he talk, talked about God's mercy. He talked about God's compassion. God is a compassionate God. I tell you, it is not only a mercy. Listen, uh, he kept mercy. Yes, he said because of his mercy, we are not consumed. But he said it is his compassion, his compassion, his feelings for us fail not. Think about that. Fe compassion is feeling for another in sorrow, in hardship that leads you to sympathize, to pity, and to help. And that's what he saw. He saw these things, uh, and he said it's because uh, of his compassion. Yes, uh, it, it is. You know something? The children of Israel had once sinned against God. You know, Israel and Judah were two different nations after Rehoboam became king of Israel. And they were divided, and they fought against each other. And there was a time when Israel fought against Judah and had taken Judah's inhabitants as captives. And the word of God says this, after they took them in captives, they were taking them to Israel as, their, as people they had conquered. But one tribe in the, in the ten that, would, that constituted Israel, Ephraim, said it was, they opposed them, taking their brethren captives, having them walk down naked, having them starve to death. And he, he was, they were mad about it. 
And the Bible says uh, when they, uh, the, they oppose the, 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 them treating their brethren like that, you intend, and he said to them, you intend to add more to our sins and to, and, uh, and to see this thing of such a great sin against God. Your brethren, naked and hungry and trudging along, I want to thank you for joining this presentation tonight. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope the Holy Spirit is stirring your heart, that you can rise up, move forward with the Lord, and let God use your life in these last days. The rapture is about to happen, my friend, and we need to get ready for that. Amen. Now, please remember to like and share this video, amen, and all of our videos with your family and friends. If Jesus tarries, we will be back on Tuesdays and Thursdays for our Bible study presentations. If you have prayer requests, please uh, c contact us, connect with us through the information on your screen. Or take, take a moment to write it down so you don't forget and connect with us. We'll be happy to serve you and to walk with you along this journey until Jesus comes. Our prayer meetings will be Friday nights at 7.30 p.m., both in person and online. And our Sunday services are 8 a.m. and 10, 15 a.m., both in person and online. Praise God. So God bless you. Sister Shanti and I love you.